Good day, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son. I am the diaspora. My people, it was another beautiful day for a protest, and I enjoyed every moment of my protest. Um, let me remind you that the fund of my sign says, I don't want the white man's money, his woman, his friendship, or his fame. And the reverse of my sign says, white man, why have you re-enslaved the African-American? My people, we all know that Hurricane Beryl, category four and five at different stage of its existence, passed through the Caribbean and in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada, it really did a number on those two islands. My people, we sustain a lot of damage to properties, to vegetation, but St. Vincent and the Grenadines did not sustain any loss of life. Grenada, on the other hand, sustained similar damage to St. Vincent and the Grenadines where vegetation and property is concerned, but they also experienced loss of life. My people, A few months ago, Venezuela started to put their problem with Guyana, trying to claim the entire Essequibo area for themselves. What most people don't understand about the Essequibo area that is found between Guyana and Venezuela is it is the largest oil reserve in the entire world. So that means Guyana is sitting on liquid cash. However, we also know that Guyana have every mineral you can find in Africa. Unfortunately for the Guyanese, they have had some leaders who have, who have not exercised the diligence in the way they manage the resources of Guyana, especially the natural resources. All the Guyana is the richest country in the West. Guyanese experiences very little of the wealth of their country. White foreigners from all over the world come to Guyana and benefits from the resources of Guyana over Guyanese, who should be the primary beneficiary of the resources of their country. And that is because their leaders have been making poor decisions as it relates to the resources of Guyana. Now, when Venezuela decided that they were going to start a problem with Guyana in claiming the entire Essequibo area, well, Gonzales got involved and not only did he get involved, he wanted to be mediator. You see what happened? Venezuela have been very generous to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And it was well Gonzalez's opportunity to try to discourage Guyana into fighting for their land in favor of having Venezuela get all of the oil and he was hoping to get much benefit from Venezuela if he was able to do that. Now, St. Vincent are in need of help. You have to remember, when Milton Cato was prime minister, Milton Cato went out of his way to help the Guyanese economy to recover when it was ailing desperately. James Mitchell, was against the help or the aid Milton Cato was given to the Guyanese people to help their economy recover. But Milton Cato was a genius. Milton Cato knew. In this period of our time, our economy was striving. Thousands of Vincentians have left St. Vincent and the Grenadines and went to Guyana. 
and now that the Guyanese economy was ailing, if all of those Guyanese, if all of those Vincent and Guyanese return to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it will be too much strain on our economy and it would have affected the way of life of Vincent during that period of time. So Milton Cato went out of his way to try to help the Guyanese government to recover to a stage where they can function on their own. My people, Guyana have reached back to a stage where the economy is healthy. Now that St. Vincent and the Grenadines are in need of help, the Guyanese government and people in all honesty cannot provide help to St. Vincent and the Grenadines under Ralph Gunsard's administration because Ralph Gunsard was instrumental in trying to sway the Guyanese government into allowing Venezuela to take control of the Essequibo area because he wanted to benefit from the Venezuelan. The, Ven the Guyanese have now extended help to Grenada and not St. Vincent. Now that both countries are in dire need of help in rebuilding. My people, so we see how Ralph Gonsav's idiotic behavior is now affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines. When we should have been benefiting from the help of the Guyanese, because we helped them when they needed help most. Not that they don't want to help us, but they cannot in all honesty provide St. Vincent with the help we need because of the actions of our Prime Minister, Ralph Gonzalez. And this is a sad, sad situation for all of these people in the Grenadines, especially the Grenadines, who really need the help to help them recover from the battering they got from Hurricane Beryl. But there is good news. Ralph Gonsard made a pact with Satan. And when he made that pact with Satan, he never expect that the time would have elapsed so quickly that now Satan is ready to claim his soul as payment for the pack that he made with him. That is why when Beryl came, Ralph Gonsas packed his bags and ran away from St. Vincent and the Grenadines because he thought that the devil would have been in the storm. Like Elijah thought that God was in the storm and the devil would have claimed his life, take his soul, and take him back to hell. My people now, Ralph Gonzalez is busy offering vain oblation to Satan. Satan don't want those sacrifices. He murdered, he caused those people in Polia to be murdered. Satan don't want that sacrifice. Those are deaths of people who Satan have already have in his pocket. He don't want those debts. What he really wants is Ralph Gonzalez. Ralph could run from now until the moon fall out of the sky. Satan is going to claim his soul as soon as possible. My name is Chief Jungler. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, favorite and most hated son. I am the diaspora machismo.